The world is a symphony of sights, sounds, and interactions. These are the components that make up the social world where we, as humans, have thrived in since the dawn of time. However, to some, the beauty of humanity can be overwhelming. Today, we delve into the world of autism spectrum disorder, a neurological difference that shapes how individuals perceive and experience the world. This is the tale of Oscar Omar, the boy who proves that difference does not hinder success. Oscar Omar is a 21-year-old Malaysian boy who is diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder. He can perform day-to-day -day tasks but has trouble communicating socially with others. The conditions that make up autism spectrum disorder, ASD, are varied. They are distinguished by a certain level of difficulties in communication and social engagement. A typical patterns of behavior and activities such as trouble switching between activities and attention to detail and unusual responses to sensation. According to the Center for Disease Control CDC in the United States, the incidence of autism is at 1 in 68 children. That would mean approximately 9,000 children in Malaysia are born with autism every year. Even though autism spectrum disorder is thought to be a lifelong condition, each autistic person has a different level of functioning impairment as a result of these difficulties. Ever since he was little, people knew Oscar was a little different. He had trouble making friends, could not really understand the social situations, and he can't even interact with well others. So at first, we thought like, oh, maybe this is just an awkward phase of kids growing up, and just brush it off, until it gets worse. He would throw tantrum sometimes without trigger or causes to. It got to the point where we start questioning where we went wrong raising him. Yeah, so I felt like a failure. Because I can't really teach him to control his emotions and well, despite our best efforts, we still could not understand him completely. And what frustrated us the most is that the fact that maybe he could understand things. So we took him to the psychiatry to get check up. He was diagnosed when he was 5 years old. Autism Spectrum Disorder, as the name suggests, is a spectrum. There are many types of autism, each with their own unique behaviours and traits. But all of them have the same characteristic of awkward social development and social skills. An example of this is Rett syndrome, which is more prominent in females compared to males. This is associated with the genetic disorder at the MECP2 gene located on the X chromosome where a duplication occurs. Childhood disintegrative disorders really characterized by delayed onset of developmental issues of social function, motor abilities, or language. There is also Kenner syndrome where children are smart, attentive, uh, attractive, alert, and clever, but with emotional difficulties. There is also pervasive developmental disorder not otherwise specified. It is the diagnosis that were given to the people who are fit into this group and were thought to have a milder symptoms compared to the autism spectrum disorder in this day. It is a mild type of autism that presents a range of symptoms. But for Oscar's case, we believe that he has Asperger syndrome, which is a level 1 autism spectrum disorder according to DSM-5. Teens with Asperger syndrome can have academic success and have social interaction, but they may struggle with communication. They have repeated rigid thoughts and behavior patterns. Symptoms of Asperger syndrome may be to spend a lot of time thinking or talking about one topic or passion or memory wish to pursue a limited number of activities. For hobbies, it can become obsessive and can interfere with their daily habits. They also struggle to grasp the social settings in terms of communication such as uh, facial expression, body languages, humor, sarcasm, and also, interestingly, they can uh, easily remember the chosen facts and information. Oscar is always passionate about random stuff, often bringing love up in the most random situation, especially about basketball. I remember this one time he told our chemistry teacher that LeBron James is better than Kobe Bryant during our lab practical. They were close. I remember this one time where he did not want to sit on the school bus because someone took his regular seat second from the back next to the left window. He sat with his arms crossed at the bus door, so I stood up for him and asked the person to shift. It wasn't really a problem because everyone on the bus was our schoolmates. 
Other signs and symptoms include becoming irritated by even little variations in their routine, difficulty controlling emotions, which can lead to verbal or behavioral outbursts, and as well as tantrums, which can lead to self-injurious actions. I never had a history or a family member with ASD and have always thought it was a hereditary disease until we know about Oscar's case. And to my understanding, this condition is one that can happen without any known causes or means. So that's why we never blame each other, not even in service. And I am thankful for a partner so patient and understanding. Similar to most psychiatric and neurological disorders, autism spectrum disorder has no well-established cause or link. It can even be present in patients or families without any history of ASD. Other risk factors of autism may include male gender, genetic disorders such as fragile X syndrome, older patients, and extremely potent babies. And you will find this claim that certain cardiogenic medications such as valproate have been linked to the higher risk of autism. Unlike other diseases such as hypertension or diabetes that have a clear-cut first line of medication, providing pharmaceutical treatment for psychiatric disorder, especially autism spectrum disorder (ASD), are quite difficult. They are often only given to the most severe of cases. In Malaysia, available pharmacological treatment of ASD include atypical antipsychotics such as risperidone and apriprazole which show effectiveness in improving symptoms such as irritability, social withdrawal and hyperactivity. Other atypicals are also used such as olanzapine, paliperidone, coetapine and ziprasidone. However, atypical antipsychotics carry the risk of metabolic side effects such as weight gain and metabolic disorders. Antidepressants such as selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors and tricyclic antidepressants have also been used. However, they require more evidence to prove its effectiveness. Other agents such as methylphenidate, automoxetin, valproate, and melatonin can be used, but its use is rare due to its limited research in its effectiveness or due to intolerable side effects. For SSRIs or selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, they inhibit the reuptake of serotonin in the brain. This increases serotonin levels in the brain, which can help regulate mood and reduce repetitive behaviors, making it easier for individuals with autism spectrum disorder to engage in social interactions and daily activities. Tricyclic antidepressants primarily regulate the levels of neurotransmitters such as serotonin and norepinephrine in the brain. By inhibiting the reuptake of these neurotransmitters, TCAs increase their availability in the synaptic cleft, which leads to enhanced neurotransmission. This mechanism is believed to contribute to the therapeutic effects of TCAs in managing certain conditions such as depression, anxiety, as well as certain symptoms associated with autism spectrum disorder. It is to be noted that the pharmacological treatment of autism spectrum disorder does not treat the disease itself, but rather manages the symptoms. The key in managing autism spectrum disorder are in the non pharmaceutical treatment, especially behavioral therapy. Four. Oscar has never taken any medication before. Despite that, he has shown great improvement socially while growing up. I think we can most thank all the behavioral therapy we sent him ever since he was diagnosed. Um, so far, we have tried so many places and therapies some with good and even bad experience but I think one that really helped Oscar is the one that is called Applied Behavioral Analysis which is like a kindergarten catered towards children like Oscar. He responds very well and applies the concept talk there at home. The person center we sent him told me that something about Lobos? Lobos? Lobos. Ah yes, the Lobos method which is like well-known superior method to approaching teaching in children with ASD. We were very much involved during this teaching session as they said family members are very important in precipitation, making the child more comfortable. The LOVAS method is an applied behavioral analysis method that focuses on improving communication and behavior of ASD children. Among the principles of the LOVAS method include behavioral emphasis, 
family participation, one-to-one -one instruction, integration, comprehensiveness, and intensity. Other behavioral and social therapies available in Malaysia for the treatment of ASD include naturalistic approaches such as responsive education and pre-linguistic milieu teaching, RPMT, which facilitates intentional communication during the pre-linguistic period in children with development delay and reciprocal imitation training, RIT, which is an imitation intervention developed for young children with ASD. So, we try to foster the same healthy environment for him at home. For example, like catering for his specific wants and behavior. Because after all, he is still our baby boy. And I think it should come to no surprise that having a very healthy environment where they can be themselves and practice their social skills plays an important role. So, I would also like to thank all of his friends for being so understanding and kind to him. Oscar is a great friend. He's fun to be around and always lightens up the mood. He helps when he can and wants to enjoy life. Oscar is the same as all of us, having his own opinions, feelings, hopes, and dreams. So I feel Oscar sings in the garden as we're neighbors. The way he tries to understand the world is admirable. He even sings songs to his friends which he turns out. Even when it seems like he's trying to learn from us, I sometimes find myself learning from him as well. So you like him? What? No! Growing up, Oscar has met all types of people. People who support him, people who stare at him, people who judge him, and people who try to understand. And I believe that's what makes Oscar so strong as a character today. And despite it all, he was very hopeful and never gave into this kind of negativity. And his teachers also played a very crucial role because they would try their best to understand his needs. Because when you look past his social abilities, he is actually just as competent and smart as all of us. Maybe smarter. Right now, I believe that Malaysian society is in a transition phase because more people are acknowledging and understanding psychiatric disorders even among those people who are from non health backgrounds. I think society plays an important role in making children like Oscar feel comfortable and have a sense of belonging in society. They are no different than us, we are two human. I admit he sometimes confuses me but he's doing his best you know. Yeah, I admit that sometimes we do argue over all these small things but all friends do right? Yeah, at heart, Oscar is as similar and normal to everyone else. I think his story is one that is very inspiring not only for others with autism spectrum disorder, but also for everyone around him. So lastly, is there anything you'd like to say to society regarding ASD? Yeah, for me, uh, society should have an open-minded and have a basic knowledge about AS ASD so that they can respect to the people who have ASD, especially the child, as you know that they want to grow up like a normal person too. And for me, People diagnosed with ASD bring such a unique strength and perspective. So I believe that people should understand and celebrate these kind of differences in them. And only then we could create a more inclusive society. Lastly, what is your message towards society regarding autism spectrum disorder? For me, let's end the stigma. Let's celebrate their uniqueness and appreciate what they contributed to the society.